Bismillah rahman rahim In this video, I will draw this figure in AutoCAD. Let's start. So first, I will make this portion. The radius of this circle is given 18 mm. Let's draw it. Click on circle arrow, center radius. Click enter radius 19 mm. Now I will draw this circle and this circle. So first, I will look at the center point from this center towards this center. Length is given 14 mm. The radius of this circle is 4.5 mm, and the radius of this circle is 11 mm. Let's draw it. Click on line. From this center point, make a horizontal line towards left side by 14 mm. Distance is cap. Now click on circle arrow, center radius. Click on this point, enter radius 4.5 mm. Enter C for circle. Now specify same center point. Now this time, enter radius 11 mm. Now I will make this fillet and this fillet. The radius of this fillet is 8 mm, and the radius of this fillet is 2 mm. Let's draw it. Enter F from the keyboard for fillet. Now click on radius. Enter 2mm fillet radius. Click on this circle and click on this circle. Again enter F for fillet. Click on radius. Enter radius 8mm. Now click on this circle and click on this circle. Now press TR, double enter and trim the unnecessary portion. Escape. Now select this line and erase it. Now I will draw this circle and this circle. The radius of this circle is 29 mm and the radius of this circle is 34 mm. Let's draw it. Enter C from keyboard for circle. Now specify the center point of this circle. Enter radius 29 mm. Again enter C for circle. Specify same center point. Enter radius this time 34 mm. Now I will make this portion for this. First I will locate the center point of this circle, this point. From this horizontal line towards this line, degree is given 30 degree. So I will draw a line which intersect with this circle. So this could be the center point of this circle. Let's draw it, then you will understand. And the radius of this circle is given 4 mm. Let's draw it. Click on line. Then from this center point, make a line which passes from this circle. You can enter any length but make sure that the length should be greater than the radius of this circle. You can enter 50 or more then press tab for degree then move cursor to the downward side and enter degree 30. Press escape. This is the center point of that circle. Click on circle arrow center radius. Click on this point enter radius 4mm. So this distance is also given 9mm from the center point of this circle towards the center point of this circle. Make sure that the degree of this circle and the degree of this circle should be keep same. Now select this circle, enter CO from keyboard for copy. Now copy this circle from this center point. Now enter length 9mm, press tab for degree, enter degree 330. Press escape. Now I will offset this line towards this side and towards this side to make this portion exactly like this so this radius is given 4mm it means that 4mm towards this side and 4mm towards this side i will erase the ink to see clearly enter o for offset from keyboard enter offset distance 4mm now click on this line towards this side click on this line towards this side escape press tr double enter now trim the unnecessary portion like these lines Escape. Now select this line and erase all these lines. Now if we see the figure dimension, so this radius is 4mm and this radius is 8mm from this center. This radius is 8mm. So it means that this gap becomes 4mm. I will offset this portion, the inner portion by 4mm, then the outer portion exactly draw according to the given dimension. Enter O for offset, enter offset distance 4mm. Click on this line towards this side, this portion towards this side. Escape. Now I will draw this portion and this portion, and after that, I will make this fillet, this fillet, and all these fillets. So for this portion, the degree is also given 30 degree to the center point of this circle. The radius of this circle is given 3 mm, and the radius of this circle is 7 mm. Let's draw it. Again, click on line from this center point, make 
a line of any length which passes from this circle. For example, we enter this time 100 mm, press tab for degree, now move cursor to the upper side and enter degree 30. Press escape, so this is the center point. Now enter C from the keyboard for circle, click on this point, enter radius 3 mm, again enter C from keyboard for circle, again specify same center point, enter radius this time 7 mm. Erase this line. Now I will make this portion and after that we will making these fillets. So first I will make a straight vertical line and then another line by 45 degree from this line. Let's write enter L for line from keyboard. Now from this center point make a vertical line of any length. Escape now again enter L for line. Click again on this center point. Now enter length for example 50. Now press tab for degree. So from this horizontal line toward this line this is 90 degree and if we add 45 to this 90 degree so it becomes 135 degree we will enter 135 degree press escape now on this point and on this point i will draw this circle and this circle so the radius of this circle is 4 mm given let's draw it enter c for circle from keyboard now click on this point enter 4 mm radius enter c for circle now specify center point, this one, enter radius 4 mm. Now if we see this figure, so this radius is 4 mm. It means that this, from this circle, from this circle, this distance is also 4 mm and this distance is also 4 mm. I will erase the ink to see the dimension clearly, then you will understand. So if we see here, this radius is 4 mm. It means that this distance is also 4 mm and this distance is also 4 mm. So we will offset this circle by 4 mm towards the upper side and towards the downward side. Let's draw it, then you will understand. Enter O for offset, enter offset distance 4 mm. Now click on this circle towards this side, click on this circle towards this side. Now press escape. Now press TR, double enter, and trim the unnecessary portion. Cap. Now select this line, this circle, this circle, and this portion, this line, and this line, and erased it. Now, if we see this figure, so we further not require this circle, we will erase this also. Click on this circle and erase it to see the figure clearly. Now I will offset this portion by 6 mm because this radius is 4 mm and this radius is 10 mm. So this gap becomes 6 mm. Let's make it enter O for offset. Now enter offset distance 6 mm. Now click on this portion towards this side, this portion towards this side, this portion towards this side. Escape. Now I will make all these fillets. So I will make these fillet with radius of 29 mm circle. So this fillet is given radius of 7 mm and this fillet is also radius of 7 mm. Let's make it first. Enter F for fillet. Click on radius. Enter radius 7 mm. Click on this circle and click on this. Press space to repeat the command. Now click on this circle and click on this portion. Now press TR, double enter and trim this portion. Escape. Now I will make this fillet and this fillet. Still erase the ink to see the dimension clearly. So this radius is 4 mm and this radius is also given 4 mm because this portion and this portion is symmetrical and this radius is, fillet radius is 12 mm. Let's make it. Now I will make this portion by a 10 10 radius command. So click on circle arrow. Click on 10 10 radius, click on this circle and this circle, enter radius 4 mm. Again, click on circle arrow, click on 10 10 radius, click on this circle and this circle, enter radius 4 mm. Now, again, click on circle arrow, click on 10 10 radius, click on this circle and this circle, enter radius 12 mm. Now, press TR, double enter, and trim the unnecessary portion.
select this portion and erase it now I will make this portion so first I will look at the center point of this circle so if we see the figure dimension from this center point towards this point this length is given 14 mm so this length should also be 14 mm because total distance is 28 mm so this distance is 14 mm and from this line towards this center this distance is 8 mm so the remaining distance towards this center point becomes 6 mm so this distance is 6 mm from this center line the downward distance to this center is 6 mm and the horizontal distance is also given from this center point towards this center this length is given 26 mm let's look at the center point first click on line from this center point to make a horizontal line of 26 mm length then a downward line of 6 mm press escape so this is the center point of this circle this circle and the diameter of this circle is given 15 mm let's draw it click on circle arrow center diameter click on this point enter diameter 15 mm now select this line and this line and erase it now from this center point towards this line this length is given 16.5 this length is given 16.5 so first I will make this circle of uh, this line and enter from keyboard for line from this center point make a line of 16.5 enter press escape so I will stretch this line because if we see so this line is connected with this circle so, and this and this line is also stretched over here so enter O for offset now click on this line, click on this point and stretch towards this side. Please escape. Now I will offset this line by this distance 14 mm towards this side, 14 mm and 14 mm towards downward side. The total distance becomes 28 mm. I will erase the ink to see the dimension clearly then you will understand. Enter O for offset from keyboard, enter offset distance 14 mm. Now click on this line towards upward side and click on this line towards downward side now please escape now again enter L for line and joining this line and this line escape now erase this line now I will fillet this portion and this portion so this fillet radius is 4.5 and this fillet radius is 12 mm let's write enter F for fillet now click on radius enter radius 12 mm Again, enter F for fillet, click on radius, enter radius 4.5 mm this time. Now click on this line and click on this portion. Press escape, now press TR, double enter, trim this portion and this portion. Escape. Now I will make this jumper. So this distance is given 10 mm and from this point towards this point this distance is 7.5 and if we subtract 7.5 from 16.5 so this distance becomes 9 mm this distance becomes 9 mm so we will make a jumper of 10 by 9 mm let's draw it now click on fillet arrow click on jumper or you can also type from keyboard cha for jumper click now select this line and click on distance enter distance 10 mm enter now enter this time 9 mm distance now click on this line. I draw this figure according to the given dimension of this figure. Thanks for watching. If you're facing problem, then comment below. I will answer you.